Hey guys, Coach Alana here. I don't think there was a weekly team training in the Epic Dream Team page this week, so I thought I would create a little training for you guys myself. Uh, there's been something that I've been feel like I've been seeing a lot with a lot of um, coaches lately, but also my challengers. So I thought I would talk about it today to hopefully help you guys make some improvements. All right. So what I wanted to talk about today was scheduling your time, um, and this is important. For you guys as coaches, but also for our challengers as well, you know, as your, for your customers. Everyone's leading a bit busy life and has got a lot going on. You know, a lot of people feel like they don't have time to eat healthy and meal prep and uh, get their workout in, and there's always time, right? <laughs> you can always make time. So it's just something that I think is really valuable, valuable for you guys to improve on as coaches so that you can then help your clients and your customers and your future coaches as well. So we've all got the same 24 hours in a day, right? That's that's what it comes down to every day is 24 hours. Everyone's got the same time. You know, everyone's busy. We've all got work schedules and obligations, family obligations, friends obligations, personal obligations, grocery shopping, and all this stuff. And ultimately, you know, I I personally feel like getting the things done and accomplishing your goals comes down to you and it comes down to how bad you want those things and this applies to your business and it also applies to your own personal fitness. You know, how bad do you want to lose that 10 pounds or fit into that pair of pants and how bad do you want this business to grow and to help other people and to earn extra income or turn this into a full-time income? How bad do you want it? How hard are you willing to work what sacrifices are you willing to make? So I wanted to sort of lay this out and some different steps that you guys can take to hopefully improve on, um, you know, scheduling your time and therefore improve your business and your fitness. So first thing I want to talk about is absolutely, like completely non-negotiable Make sure that you are making time for the three vital behaviors as a coach. So, you should know these by now, but if you don't, they are being a product of the product, which is getting your workout done and drinking your Shakeology, uh, personal development, and invite, 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 which I like to say is connect, connect, connect. So, what does that mean? Every day, you should be drinking your Shakeology, getting your workout in, doing personal development at least 10 minutes, I usually try and do more like 20 to 30, and connecting with new people. That means making new friends, talking to new people about this business, about your challenge group. Uh, That means inviting new people to join you in your business, to um, join you in a challenge group, Uh, connecting with people to just form new relationships, build new relationships, make new friendships, meet new people following up with people that you've already talked with, all those things that are in the business activity tracker. So that's what you should be doing every single day as a coach, right? And this doesn't have to take a long time. You know, you can read your 10 minutes of personal development while you're drinking Shakeology. 10 minutes right there. Get your workout in. That's, um, most of them are, what, 30 minutes, a max of maybe 45 to an hour. Um... And then your business stuff. That can be done in an hour, you guys. That's why I have that file in the uh, team page. It's also in the Epic Dream Team page called the Power Hour To-Do List. (laughs) It means you sit down for an hour of focused time. You can get all these things done. You can send out three to five new friend requests. You can send out three to five invites to a challenge group. You can talk to three to five new people about, you know, the business. You can follow up with people. You can check into the team page all those things that can all be done within an hour, like, no problem. You, If you were really focused, you could get that done, you know, in 20 minutes if you really needed to. So those are the things that you need to sit down and say, okay, this is what I need to be doing every single day. If you don't know where it is, you need to contact me to find out <laughs> and use the business activity tracker so that you are tracking what you're doing every single day. It also helps you to sit down look and say, okay, this is what I need to get done, this is what I've already done for the day, and this is what I still need to get done. It's really helpful for tracking your business. It's also helpful for for me to be able to see what you're doing in your business and areas where 
you're maybe struggling a little bit and allows me to help you guys more. So the second thing that I wanted to talk about as far as scheduling your time is to use a planner or the calendar in your phone or write it out on a whiteboard, something to make a plan for your week, for the day, for every day. Um, What I really love is, this is what I use, it's called a passion planner. Um, What I love about this for one is it's nice and big, we have plenty of room to write stuff, Um, but I can go through week by week and write down everything that I need to get done. Um, I personally like to use this because I keep this thing open on my desk. I can see it all day long when I'm sitting here doing work. Whereas with like a phone calendar, you don't, it's not there and open to you all the time. So I just, this is what I prefer. Use what you like best. Use what's going to work for you because we're all different. But what I love about this is I can sit down and write out my schedule That's kind of what it looks like for the week. I put in, um, I put in what time I'm getting up. I put in my workout and my Shakeology and my personal development. I put in when I've got a team call. I put in when the national wake up call is. I put in when I'm going to go grocery shopping. I put in when I have, um, horseback riding lessons to go teach. I put in other appointments that I might have. Anything, everything. I write down what I'm going to make for dinner each night (laughs) Um, because I'll forget because that's just me. Um, It also allows me, I don't know if you saw, the bottom here is to-do lists. I've got a section for personal to-do lists and I've also got a section for my work to-do list. So, you know, I'll go through and write down like, okay, Monday I need to go grocery shopping. Um, This day I need to do meal prep. Mondays I do meal prep. Um, This week, I need to get new tabs for my truck, so I'm going to do that tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, You know, as far as my work stuff, I write down, like, National Wake Up Call, Monday, do it. Uh, What do I have for this week? New coach video, I need to do that, so I did it today. Uh, New Craigslist ad, team training video, challenger check-ins, all this stuff. All these things that I do every week, but I don't want to forget about them. I'm a little scatterbrained, you know, I (laughs) I don't want to forget. So I just write it down. I personally love to have a list like that where I can see it, check it off when I'm done. For one, I I don't know, it feels good to be like, check, done, yeah. (laughs) Um, And it's just really helpful for me personally to be able to see all these um, things that I need to get done there, you know, out for me at all times. Again, use what's going to work best for you. Um, if you want to get a passion planner, I think it's www.passionplanner.com. Simple. They're uh, 20 bucks maybe. I don't know. They're not super expensive, but they're really awesome. Um, I really like mine. I tend to take it with me all over the place. Uh, sometimes if I don't have it, then I'll put something into my phone and then I'll put it into my passion planner later just so it's there and I can see it. Either way, whatever works for you, Find something that is going to allow you to schedule your time. You know, I know I I work as a, you know, full-time as a coach, but I haven't always, and I know for you guys that work other jobs, you've got a lot going on, got all this stuff in the air. If you can sit down, you know, Sunday, Sundays is when I like to do it, whatever day works for you, sit down and schedule out your week. Write down what days you have to work at your regular job. Write down what time you're going to get up that day. Write down what time you're going to get your workout in, when you're going to work your business, when you're going to drink your Shakeology and do your personal development. Write it down. Put it into your planner so that it's going to happen. Because when you write it down, you're making an obligation to yourself that you're going to get it done, right? You've planned it. You've scheduled it into your day. And I'd say you're way more likely to get something done when you've scheduled it in, then if you're just like, oh yeah, I think I need to do this today, and oh, at some point I'll fit in my workout, and you know, if you're kind of all over the place with your schedule, it's a lot less likely that you're going to get done all those things that you should be getting done every day, right? So, again, I just want to stress how important goal setting is in order to um, push yourself to get these things done. When it comes to your fitness and, you know, maybe getting up a little bit early to get a workout in or at the end of the day getting a workout in when you are exhausted and you really don't want to, set some real strong tangible goals. You know, hey, we're almost at the end of October. New Year's is two two months away. 
set a goal for New Year's. Go buy a dress or a pair of pants that's a size small that you can't that you size smaller than what you're wearing now that you can't fit into right now, and go go buy it and say I'm gonna fit into this dress on New Year's, and set that as a goal or something. Whatever like that that's going to work for you. That's gonna really push you to get your workout done when you don't want to because. I mean, we all have days that we don't want to work out. I mean, that's just what it comes down to. But it goes back to that idea that you can either, you know, get stuff done or you can make excuses, right? What do you want to do? Do you want to get your workout in or do you want to make an excuse? Do you want to, a month from now, be 5 or 10 pounds lighter? Or do you want to say, oh, I made excuses and I'm still the same place that I was a month ago because I didn't, I wasn't consistent with my workouts? It's all up to you, right? Same thing with your business. Set some real, strong, tangible goals with your business. All right, we're almost done with October. There's still time to hit Success Club, still time to hit Emerald for those of you pushing to Emerald. But November's the new month. It's right around the corner. Make some more goals, right? I set goals every single month. I set goals every single week for myself. Do it. (laughs) Um, You know, think about what you want to accomplish Set big goals, set goals that scare you, and then go for them, push them. Again, setting goals for yourself is going to push you to spend an extra 30 minutes a day working on your business when you'd rather be sitting on the couch watching TV. You know, think about what is going to benefit you more. (laughs) I mean, that's what it comes down to, right? Yeah, it's... A lot, at the end of a long day, I know how it feels to just be like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I want to just go at home, go home, sit down, you know, eat whatever I can find and not, not do this. I mean, like, we've all been there. I know how it feels. I mean, I used to commute like 12 hours a day when I started as a coach. I never wanted to work my business, but my desire to make a change for my life, to build this business into what I wanted it to be, to help new people, to create a life by my own design, those things were stronger than my desire to sit on the couch and watch a TV show. Because ultimately it comes down to, I know that putting in the time on my business every single day, not just when I feel like it, but every single day, whether I feel like it or not, that's what's going to pay off for me in six months, a year, five years. That's what's going to help me. That's what's going to mean good things for me five years from now? Am I even going to remember what I was watching on TV five years ago? No. (laughs) I don't remember what I was watching on TV last month, you know? It's not important. What what value does that have in your life? Like, nothing, really. I mean, let's let's just be honest. (laughs) Nothing. I mean, I'm not telling you guys that you should not relax and enjoy time to relax, but just think about, again, think about your goals. Think about what you want more. That's really what it comes down to. With your business, with your fitness, it's the difference between what you want now and what you want the most, right? So, you know, if it's with fitness, it's like, hmm, do I want to eat this thing of french fries right now that, you know, an hour from now I'm not even going to remember what it tastes like? Or do I want to achieve these goals? Do I want to feel comfortable in my own skin? Do I want to finally hit a weight loss goal or fit into a pair of pants that I've never been able to fit into or something like that. You know, think about these goals that you've had for your fitness and for your health for a long time as opposed to this thing that you just want now. Same with your business. I know I'm getting really repetitive here, but think about what, where you're at now, what's going on in your life now, where you could be in the future, and what actions and what steps you can take now to get yourself there. I think... I've strayed a little bit off topic here, but um, again, it um, it comes back to scheduling your time and finding the time to do these things now that are going to help you with your business, with your fitness, with your health, all those things later on down the road. So I hope this has been a useful training. Sorry for being a little bit all over the place. (laughs) That's just me. You guys should know that by now. But um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you need some extra advice on how to set up your your schedule, if you're feeling like, hey, I, this is what I have, but I don't really know how to schedule these things into my day, talk to me. Ask me. I can't help you if you don't ask me, but I'm more than happy to help you if you do ask. You just have to reach out, right? 
So talk to me about it. Tell me what your schedule is, what you've got going on, what your obligations are, when you're going to bed, what time you're getting up. And I'm happy to help you create a schedule for when you're going to work your business, when you're going to get your workouts in, when you're going to go grocery shopping, all those things. More than happy to help you guys. So just got to reach out, just got to ask me, and I'm always here. All right. Hope this was helpful, and comment below if you guys have any questions. Talk to you soon. Bye.